everyone, my name is Nicole Wolf and I'm a paranormal romance author. Welcome back to my channel. So, um, today I am bringing you my first official unboxing video, um, or uh, in this case, un unpackaging video. It's not right in the box. Um, I, uh, I just redid the covers on the first two books in my series, my White Moon Warrior series. Um, and I bought some, I don't want to say proof copies because I technically bought author copies, but when I buy proof copies, I buy author copies as my proof copy because I don't really want a copy that has the not for sale band on it. I'd rather have one that I can, you know, use. So, <laughs> um, so anyway, that's what I got I got here today, and I'm going to do, um, after the unpackaging, I'm also going to do like a quick review of the KDP print, which is who I use to print these paperbacks, and yeah, so uh, let's start this uh, exciting moment. Uh, so this is what it came in, it didn't come in a box, it came in a large... And I know both books are in this one package. Um, but I can tell it's um, like that uh, bubble wrap package, the envelope with the bubble wrap on the inside. So, you know, that's, that's good. I can also tell that the front of it right here are got, got nicked. So it's a good thing that it's in a bubble wrap. Yeah, so let's see how this looks. So far, so good. Well, from what I can see, it's good. So I'll just do them in order. I'll pull the first book out because I got one book, one copy of my first, the first book, and one copy of the second book. So this is the, the first book. And this is the new cover that I just redid. I should have brought the old other cover. In fact, let me do that. Hold on. Um, okay, so I got the new cover so we can compare. So here's the new cover. There is such a glare. Um, if I can get that glare to go away. No, not really. There we go. Um, I think it turned out really well. Uh, now I know it would probably look... I, I, I like it when the text kind of pops up, but that's something that's hard to accomplish um, using the uh, like print-on-demand services. Um, okay, so here's the old copy. And again with the glare. So you can see I went with a different kind of concept. Um, this is Paranormal Romance. So the first cover I did kind of, I kind of went along with the, uh, I don't want to say man chest because it's not a chest, but you know, that type of like bare torso, male torso, um, concept because of following like the romance series. And then because it's Paranormal Romance, I put the moon up there. Uh, to kind of give it more of the, like, paranormal, shifter, vampire, nighttime vibe. Um, now this one, th I changed it because I felt like with the old cover, with the bare man torso cover, um, I think that kind of gave off more of a steamier vibe than what my book actually is. I mean, there are, don't get me wrong, there are um, a few sex scenes in there, you know, ste like explicit sex scenes in there. I think like two maybe. So this cover I felt like portrayed a steamier vibe than what my book really was. Uh, and I didn't want people picking it up thinking that it was going to be like steamy stuff on like every third page or something. Um, so that is another reason why I changed it. 
and I changed the title from First Kiss of Freedom to just Kiss of Freedom to kind of make all of the covers, all of the, the title text kind of uh, fit together better. And I also changed where my um, tagline went. It's the, it's, it's the same tagline, but I changed instead of it being like just randomly on his, and then I felt like the top was really, really bare. Like it, there was nothing there. Everything was like, all of the text was like shoved in this bottom half area on this one. So this one, I wanted a more balanced look. So that's why I put the tagline on the top and then I put the title and the, the series name and my my name, the author name, on on the bottom part of it. Um, and so this time it's kind of a neat, like the shoulder, her shoulders are bare, but because it's a woman instead of a man, I feel like that gave off a different vibe, like it gave off uh, less of a sex book vibe and uh, the background is different. You could see like, because this is a dystopian uh, paranormal romance, uh, so you could see like buildings are crumbling and stuff. Um, yeah, so um, that's the new, that's the new cover and uh, it, it feels, I did get the, it before, it feels like I think it's pretty good quality for what you're, for what you're paying. Like I said, the only thing I would say is I kind of wish the text stood out a little more. Uh, but that could just, that could have been my design flaw. Uh, and you know, maybe I should have uh, used a different color for that, that text. Okay, uh, so let's move on to the next book. Uh, I don't have a physical copy of the first design for this book, um, so I can't compare it, but, oh, I forgot to do the back. Let me go back. Here is, uh, this, here I can compare the spine. Here's the spines. Hopefully I can get it where it doesn't glare and it focuses there. So you could see like the, 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 it has a picture. The picture goes on the, on the spine of the remade cover, whereas on the first cover it was all black, it was plain black. And you can also see that, if I can get it not to glare, uh, you can also see that the text is a little nicer and co and actually matches the cover text. as well. <clears throat> okay, and then here's the back. Uh, let me, there's the, so the picture's obviously different because I used a different picture. And uh, you can see I kind of changed the layout of, of the book a little bit. Uh, so, There's the, uh, like, um, almost like a series tagline, I want to say, is kind of what that is. It goes, it goes on, on, uh, it goes on the top of the books on the back for all of the series. Um, <clears throat> and then I have, uh, a review, a little review quote in the middle between the, um, blurb or synopsis I guess it would be a blurb more of a blurb right here okay anyway uh, so I'll uh, I think that I think the back turned out really really nicely I really like the way the picture came out uh, as you can see it's kind of um, I pulled part of the front picture and made it the back picture as well. 
So you can kind of see how it, the whole picture kind of wraps around the, the whole book. And on the back, I, instead of emphasizing the woman like the front does, I wanted to emphasize the setting where it's, you know, like the old fashioned buildings crumbling in the background. Okay, and I'll read the synopsis quick. Uh, the series synopsis is the world belongs to the famed and wicked where flesh and blood are the highest currency. Mm -hmm. Nessie Robinson spends her nights bleeding into their hungry mouths, forced to feed them her own blood. Vampires suck, pun intended. Now the vampire she once loved is back with danger in his wake and desire in his gaze. And it's not just her blood he's lusting after, but she's not falling for it again. Not this time, really. Charlie Matthews returns to his maker's mansion set on revenge. His plans are coming together and his patience will finally pay off. That is until the girl he'd left behind years ago complicates everything. Just one taste of her will set them both on a dangerous and delicious path. And leaving the past behind them is the only road to the future. Okay, and then, like I said, I have like a little quote. I put in the middle just to kind of give it a more balanced look again and then uh, I changed I updated my my photo where it actually you know actually kind of looks like me like with my glasses and stuff so um so I did that I updated my picture I think the uh, I think the actual um, I think I updated my little author pro my author about me thing a little bit too. So, uh made it a little more more personal. <sighs> yeah, so that's the first book. I'm really happy with it. I think it turned out really nicely. Um um I, I can't really say which design I like better. Cuz I think they're both pretty effective as far as the romance genre goes. Um, like I said, mine is kind of, mine is paranormal romance, but it's not like super steamy romance, um, where I almost feel like it's, it's borderline urban fantasy with a little more romance in it, which is why I, te I categorized it as a paranormal romance and not an urban fantasy. Um. Also, I feel like urban fantasies also usually follow one main character through the whole series, and my series doesn't do that. Mine follows a different couple in every series, which I think is more common in paranormal romance than it is in urban fantasy. But um, I felt like it kind of uh, took away that impression that it's going to be a super steamy read, um, which is definitely what I wanted because it... You know, it's not super steamy. I mean, it has moments in it. it. I mean, there is a romance, obviously, but it's not, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space in the overall book as a whole. Um, yeah, so let's, um, let me, let me show you the second book. Like I said, I don't have, I don't have the the second, the first design of the second book to, to show you in like up, but I can, I can put a, like a, an image up for you guys to see, to compare it to. Um, so here is the second book in my series. And again, you'll see, uh, I followed the same design concept, even though the picture is completely different and even the color is like the color and the and the picture and everything is all different but I kept the texts are all the same and the placement of where the texts go are all the same and um, I did that because I wanted to make it as clear as I could that it was part of a series at first glance even though uh, the color scheme isn't held throughout the whole series the color and the pictures of the of the covers changes with with each book. <clears throat> so again, you'll see, 
I have my tagline on the top. This is the book tagline. Uh, that's, that's just for the individual book, not for the series as a whole. And uh, like I said, I kept the, the um, text the same and the placement of the design the same. You'll see I did move, I used the same picture, the wolf, the same wolf picture on the bottom, but I actually moved the placement a little bit. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure if I should have just left it in the middle like the first one. I don't know. You'll have, you, comment below and see. see and I would, I'd like to know what you guys think. If you think I should leave it in the corner or if you think it would look better doing the same thing as the book one and putting it back in the center. I mean, I could do it. It just takes more time and whatever. Um, and again, um, you'll see the spine the text is the same the picture runs it has the picture running on the spine with the text so I'm much happier with the spine for sure because the old book had a really plain spine where it was just plain black and the text I couldn't get to match because I was using a different program um okay and then I did the same thing that I did for the first one where I took a piece of the front cover and used it for the back cover but I took her out of the out of out of focus where her face wasn't the focus anymore <clears throat> so you'll see like it's, you know the backs are where it has part of the main of the character on there but it doesn't have them in focus on the back and then uh, like I said I have the series tagline at the top of the back for every book so it's the same exact tagline, and then I have another quote in the middle. Um, I'm wondering, I mean, it's definitely easy to read, um, even where the text kind of goes over the lighter color areas, like over here by the ear. Um, I, get, I mean, it's still very, pretty easy to, easy to read probably because of the shadowing that I put behind the text so um yeah I'm pretty happy with it I mean it turned out I'm really happy with where everything placed that everything was placed in the correct spot my spine turned out really well where the text is right in the middle it's not like veering off to one side or the other uh, same with the front I feel like everything is really good and centered where I wanted it so that I'm really happy about. I think the, the text placement on everything turned out really well. And honestly, I mean, I don't know how well you guys could see the picture in the, in the camera because my camera does not want to focus today. But um, the picture is actually pretty clear. I really wish this thing would focus. Come on. Come on. Who are you trying to focus on? Anyway, uh, but actually it is a very um, sharp image it's not like blurry or where you could tell it was like blown up or anything like that like it's a really good high quality clear image and they print and it printed really well um I think I do think I like the glossy I I've never tried the matte maybe I should try it on a maybe a different series when I get there but I am liking, other than, the only thing I'm not liking about the glossy right now is the fact that every time I try and move it towards the camera, I get this retarded glare from, like, every little piece of light in the room. Um, but other than that, um, I like the glossy. I think it probably, it, I think it helps with the image sharpness a lot. Um... Yeah, so um, I'll read the back. It's the same uh, series tagline, which is the world belongs to the fanged and wicked, where flesh and blood are the highest currency. Autumn has no last name. It was lost to her as a child after being sold to the Alpha of Black Moon, a cruel, ruthless leader that relishes her pain and her cries of mercy. And so she has taken a vow of silence. Only her beloved paints to comfort her as she waits for the moment she can make an escape from the hell that is the only life she's ever known. That moment comes in Torrin Delaney. 
When Torin ventures through Black Moon territory, a good fight is all he's really looking for, until he hears a woman's silent cry for help. He knows taking her is forbidden. But the moment he lays eyes on the frail woman with a lifetime of pain in her eyes, his heart is begging to save her. So there you go. My new covers for my series. I think they turned out really well. I am super happy with them. Uh, I'm really happy that I actually decided to uh, redo the covers. Because, I mean, I feel like they, they look much sharper and much more professional. And the only reason I say that is because this one, if you, if you, because I can see it probably better than you can, but if you have a, if you look closely, you can kind of see the imperfections on the, where you had, to, where I had to cut out the person from the original background so I could insert this background behind him. So you can kind of see my imperfections as far as my graphic design skills go on that one. So um, I do think it puts forth, these, this one puts forth a more professional um, vibe than this one does. Because again, this one was image and, and that image was imperfect and nothing on the bottom, just black. Because I had very limited graphic design skills when I first published that book. So I think it was a really good choice to update everything and put new covers on my series now that I'm getting ready to uh, release the third book in the series. So <clears throat> there you go. That was my first unboxing or unpackaging or cover reveal or whatever you want to call this video. Um, I think I'm just going to call it an unboxing because I know that's what it's commonly called. Um, so if you liked this video uh, and you liked seeing uh, the, that was the first time I saw them, the, the new ones, the first time I see these, saw these books. So um, if you like this type of video and you want to see more, like when I when I get my uh, author copy for my third book and so on, uh, make sure to like this video so I know to make more and make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you know when the next one goes up because uh, the third book will be coming sometime in the next month. Well, not sometime in April. Uh, so keep an eye out for that and Reminder to just uh, comment below uh, any suggestions uh, that I had that one question about whether I should move that wolf uh, picture back to the center or, or leave it where it is. Um, so uh, post your suggestion or uh, opinion about that below and uh, I will see everyone in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.